and it's a bright, new, sunny, lovely day. I'm in my princess costume, so I decided to read you a princess story called Princess Sleepyhead and the Night Night Bear by Peter Bentley and Laura Ellen Anderson. Spotty page, isn't it? Lots of spots. The moon's in the sky and the kingdom's asleep. The cows are all slumbering, so are the sheep. The ducks are tucked up in the roots of the willow. The rabbit is drowsily nibbling the pillow. All the king's horses are snug in the stable. His poodles are cuddled up under the table. The ladies in waiting are all in their beds. The guards have dozed off with their caps on their heads. King's having dreams about driving a train. The Queen's having dreams about chocolate again. The palace is silent. The lights are all out. But hold on a moment. Who's up and about? I can't get to sleep, Princess Sleepyhead said. I'm fed up with tossing and turning in bed. I've tried dropping off on my side and my tummy. I've tried lying still on my back like a mummy. I've tried counting sheep, but it's no use at all. I've tried counting all of the spots on my wall. I can't get to sleep. I simply can't do it. So I'll stay up all night and that's all is to do it. Two, wait, did you say? Two, 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 said our app window. Good evening to you. Are you still wide awake? Well, that isn't right. A princess, he said, should be sleeping at night. I'll fetch my three friends. They'll know what to do. Then off fluttered an owl with another doo Soon after, the princess heard three little mocks. Two, one, two, three. And in came the owl with a mouse and a fox. The mouse said, a good bit of running about is just what you need to tire you out. First they played hide and squeak, followed by chase. Then they had a fun in a wheelbarrow race. Now then, said fox as they fell in a heap. You must be exhausted and ready for sleep. Oh no, laughed the princess. I want to play more. I'm even more wide awake now than before. The princess sat down at the end of her bed and sighed. Well, I'll stay up all night like I said. Oh ho, chuckled Owl. But please don't forget, I said I'd bring Three friends, there's one to come yet. I think I just heard him outside on the stair. Then into the room stepped a big, friendly bear. My name is Bartholomew Brown Fur Brown. I hear there's a princess who can't settle down. Some people call me the sleepy time, Ted. Perhaps I can help you, the friendly bear said. Probably not. Princess Sleepyhead sighed. Mouse, Fox and Owl have already cried. There's a princess who can't get to sleep in my book, said the bear. Snuggle down while I just take a look. The princess lay down and Bartholomew Lou read of a tiny pea under a princess's bed that kept her awake all the night until dawn. How dawn! Princess Sleepyhead said with a yawn. Bartholomew said, shall I read you another? As she plumped up her pillows and pulled the cover, she whispered, yes please. And he started to tell of a princess who went to sleep under a spell. She slept for a hundred long years, so they say. Then a handsome young prince came and awoke her once, one day. Bartholomew took up the drowsy princess. Shall I finish the story? She murmured. Oh yes, what woke her up? The bear said, 
slip from her room and into the night. The end.